Hi guys. How are ya? How was your day yesterday? Did you go outside? Did you see butterflies? Were they flying around? I think so. It was so beautiful. Did you make your life cycle of the butterfly? Did you put them in the order that they go? From the caterpillar to the chrysalis to the butterfly to the eggs? Did you do that? I think so because I saw pictures. How about your butterfly? Did you color it? You did, right? And you glued all the words on? Perfect. All the parts of the butterfly. Perfect. Now, today, I went outside. Did you go outside? It was gorgeous. It was warm. And the sun was shining. And the sky was blue. It was so beautiful. I saw green grass. I saw pink and white trees. They were beautiful. I saw yellow flowers. I saw the blue sky and the yellow sun. It was filled with color today. Filled. That's what we're going to learn about. We're going to learn about color today. We're going to learn about the color words. Remember? Remember when we did the colors before? We had the primary colors. Do you remember what they are? There's three of them. Do you remember? Red and, yep, yellow. And one more. Blue. Three primary colors. And then there's three secondary colors. Say purple, green, and orange. Absolutely. You could tell your mom how to make purple, right? You can put blue and red together and make purple, right? But what we wanna do this week, right now today, we wanna to learn the color words. We wanna read the words and color the right color on the words so that you can start to learn how to read. So this will give you some more words that you'll know, right? They call sight words, perfect. All right, now before we do that though, I wanna know if you know your colors. So you know what I want you to do? I want you to walk around your house. You walk around your house and you tell mom what color are the things. That's what I did. I walked around my house. You know what I found? I found a spatula. And you know what I know about this spatula? It's red. It's a red spatula. I have a red spatula in my kitchen. Then I went, I just stayed in the kitchen, it looks like right here, right? Then I saw, I saw the, gla the uh, sugar bowl. What color is the sugar bowl? It's green. It's a secondary color. It's green. Red, that's a primary color, right? And then I saw this beautiful piece of fruit. And the name of the fruit is the name of the color. How cool is that? Orange. That's an orange one. And then I found the best thing of all because it's chocolate in my house. And it's in a bag. And the bag is what? Blue. And you know what kind of chocolate it is, right? Oreos. We love Oreos. So that's what I did. I walked around my whole house. I looked at the walls and the floor. I looked at the clothing and the towels. I did everything and I named them when I went. Red, purple, blue, green, white, black. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to find the different colors in your house. And then I sent you a lot of papers this, this time. I have a nice worksheet here and it's got all the color words in the right colors except for white because I tried to make the white word white but I couldn't see it on the white paper so when you get this paper you're going to take your scissors only when mom is there remember we only do that when mom's there then you take the scissors and you're going to cut the square around each color word can you see what I'm doing here look what color is that what word does that say yes it says red, it says red. And then you can take all of your color words and you can walk around the house and you can label the things that are red. So my spatula is red. So I can put my color word red on my spatula, right? And you can move them because you're not keeping them there. So if you find something else that's red, go back and get your red word and go put it on the red thing. You could do this for a long time. You could look at your toys. You could look at the stuff outside, anything. After you do that, I want you to do a worksheet. But you know what I was gonna say? Here's a really cool idea. When you're making dinner, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, see how many different colors you can make for dinner. You could have green broccoli, you could have red ketchup, you can have blue blueberries, I love blueberries. 
You could have yellow, what would you have? Yellow eggs. So see how many different colors you can come up with your dinner. It'd be very cool. I think so. White rice or yellow rice. So when you make dinner, make sure those colors get in there, okay? And you talk about them. Now, this is what I want you to do. I have a nice worksheet. And on my worksheet, there's what? Flowers. Because it's what? Spring. So put your name at the top. Always write your name. You know that. And then you have to look at these words and see what they say. Sometimes it's a little hard to see from far away. But this word, R-E-D. Do you know what color that is? It sounds like this R Ed. What do you call it? You think that is red? Yes, red. And you can do that with all of these. And then you get your crayons or your markers and you color the flower that says red, red. And you color the flower that says orange, orange. And you color the flower that says yellow. You got it. Yellow. You know. So you go and you look at these. If you can't read them, then mommy or daddy will help. And your brother or your sister, if they're a little bit older than you, they will want to help you because they like doing that for you. They like teaching, okay? All right, so that's your worksheet. Color the flowers the right color, okay? And then we're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna get a piece of paper. See my paper's like this, right? Get a piece of paper and see how I did it? You draw a line down in the middle and across right in the middle. And what did I write right up here in the corner? I wrote my name, Miss Kathy. And then you're gonna pick your four favorite colors. Could be any four colors. Could be pink, could be purple, could be red, could be blue. And you write one in each square. So you can write it with mommy's help, right? So I wrote the word what? Red and the word blue, yep. And what about this one? Orange, and what about this one? Yeah, that's my favorite, green. And then I want you to go around your house and see if you can find something that's red and something that's blue and something that's orange and green or whatever colors you chose. It could be paper, like these are post-it notes. Or it could be wrapping paper. That's what I did. I cut a little piece of wrapping paper. And this is just a, a, a part of a package. So you can look around and see what you have that's paper and you can glue it on the right square and that you can hang up and that would add color to your house. So that's what I want you to do today. I want you to think about color. I want you to look at the colors when you're playing outside tomorrow and I want you to look at the colors when you're inside. When you're in the bathroom, you could say, look, my towels are blue, right? So you look for the colors and talk about the colors and then see if you can remind, see if you can read where the what the colors are. All right. Don't forget, wash your hands. How long you wash your hands? 20 seconds, count to 20. Do the backs, do the palms, in between the fingers, do the nails like that, do the thumbs, right? And then rinse really good. All right, don't forget to, to wash your hands, cough in your elbow, <coughs> sneeze in your elbow. That way nobody gets the germs, right? We don't want germs around. Now you gotta help mom, you remember that, right? You gotta put your toys away. And remember, we learned how to make the bed. Did you learn how to make the bed? That'd be cool, all right? And some of you dusted. I saw the pictures you were dusting. Very good. Today, I thought maybe another suggestion. You could help mom fold the laundry. You could take the towels and fold the towels in half and then in half again. And then mommy can put them in the cabinet. That would be a very cool thing and it would help mom a lot. All right. This is it, it's Friday night. You might get this on Saturday. So I'm gonna give you a couple days to yourself. So during the weekend, I want you to play with your toys and play with mom and dad and help cook. And if you happen to think you might wanna make a little bit of chocolate, I'm okay with that. Chocolate is a good thing, right? And you could send me a picture, I could eat it right through the computer, okay? But I want you to have fun and I want you to be with your family. And then I'll send you another one in the beginning of the week, okay? Love you. I miss you, but we'll be together soon at school and this will be all over, okay? Love you, bye-bye.